start, you're going to need a single stitch sewing machine, a cover stitch sewing machine, and your fabric, which I recommend using a soft twill. Here's the pattern, and this pattern will be available in the description below. This pattern can be easily adjusted for your pet's head. You can adjust it by scaling up the size when you print it out, or adjusting the notches on the side, and you'll see that within the pattern. So once you have the pattern adjusted to the right size, go ahead and lay it on your fabric and start tracing and cutting it out. And you really don't need a lot of fabric to make this hat. I recommend grabbing a little bit more so that way you have a few to practice with. And plus, soft twill is very cheap, so you can definitely buy a yard for like three bucks. And that will give you plenty of fabric to play around with. Links to the fabric and all the machines will be available in the description below, so go on and check that out. So you're gonna wanna end up with one front panel, two brim panels, two side panels, and one top panel. So go on and take your top panel and your side panels and then sew them together. And we are using a serger for this step, and we're only using a serger because it's gonna make the inside look a little bit more neat, but if you don't have a serger, it's totally fine just to straight stitch this part. Make sure you line the wider side of the side panel up with the back of the top panel. And then go ahead and do this for both sides. Next, we're gonna be assembling the brim and we are using the interfacing for one side. There will be a link for the interfacing. This is a higher grade interfacing and it's available at capsupplyco.com. It's very easy to use. All you do is iron it on and it will give it a nice stiff brim, but not too stiff so it irritates the pet. And once you have that on, go ahead and cut out around the edge. And if you don't have interfacing, it's totally fine. You could also use just another piece of fabric, so cut three brims out. The main goal is just to make it a little bit more stiff so that way it's not all floppy. Now take your two brim pieces, place right sides together, and sew all the way around the outside edge. And for this step, we're using a single stitch with about quarter inch seam allowance. So go ahead and flip right sides out and start kind of working around the outside edge to kind of flatten it out. Now you're going to want to go ahead and add some stitches around the brim and this is just done by stitching right along that edge and then moving in about a quarter inch and doing another stitch and then you can add as many as you want. And this is gonna pull that brim together and make it look nice and neat. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and serge around all the edges. And we're just doing this because it's gonna clean up the inside of the hat. And if you don't have a serger, it's totally fine. You can just skip this step. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the inside of the brim. And then one more time with the front panel. And again, don't worry if you don't have a serger, you can totally make this cap just with a single stitch sewing machine.
Next, you're going to roll over your sides and do a top stitch right on that side about a quarter inch. And then do the same thing on the other side. Then go ahead and roll over the back portion of the cap and do another top stitch. Now you're going to want to attach the top panel to the front panel and this is done by marking the middles and then sewing from the middle to the outside. And remember to place right sides together and then also keep in mind that you're going to be doing this on the inside of the curve. So next you're going to want to roll over that inside edge and do a top stitch all the way across. Now you're going to want to attach your brim to that front panel and it's done the same way. Mark the middles and start from the inside and work your way towards the outside and this is just going to keep it centered. So just like the top edge, you're going to want to roll over the bottom edge and do a top stitch all the way across.
Next, you want to place right sides together and sew the back side panel to the front panel. And as you can see, this is where you can adjust it a little bit more. For the front panel, you can make it longer if the pet head is a little bit bigger. In the back, you can also make a little bit longer on the side panel. And then also, if your pet's head is a little bit long, you can actually extend the whole top panel more. And this is done by just simply scaling up the pattern. Or if you really want to, we have adjustments on there where you can go ahead and adjust it. But this next step, we're going to go ahead and top stitch where we just made that stitch. And another little tip, I recommend using the same color thread for the serger and for the single stitch as the fabric. It just will make it look a little bit neater. We used white serging, so it does look a little weird, but that's just because we wanted you to see what's being surged. Next, you wanna add a little cord strap on, and this is so it stays on your pet's head. And it's just a simple cord strap with a cord stopper. And all you do is sew it right on the sides, just a quick back and forth tack stitch, and you should be good to go. And then go ahead and cut all the remaining hanging threads. And as you can see, we have a ton of them. And there you go, your pet hat is done. And as you can see, this one turned out super small. We actually scaled down the pattern. But again, this pattern is super easy to adjust for any size pet. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know what videos you guys want to see. We're going to be putting more videos out. So definitely stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.